one particular spot is butt boost. If you do it the same way every time, you're always going to get boosted to the right, which saves you an extra cycle in the early bits of catacombs. So this is just a way of just guaranteeing that that's going to be a thing. So we'll have to keep an eye on Mr. Minfin here and see what he goes for with the butt boost, and we'll know for sure if he did or not. Um, but we are off. We got ourselves our countdown. We're good to go. And Minfin is ready and willing to battle. Bring this to a 1-1. One, one. And we got Ninja Village here. I haven't seen any cursed Nargus strats here, so we at least have some normal people. Although I hear that more and more people are adopting some of the Nargus strats in Ninja Village, which is funny, which really is just, you know what? We don't need your stinking lanterns, and we just make our way through the village anyway. I'm obviously in his first one here, but <laughs> after that, it's like, what's a lantern? <laughs> don't need that. A good barometer here is if you're doing well is do you stay ahead of the other ninja that follows you as long as you can beat him to class life is good all right abunai watch out incoming demons are attacking it's time for the western hero to show up raiden what we have basically called we were wondering what the name of it was and believe it or not somehow the name of the bird is <laughs> Manfred the Dragon. Not just Manfred, whom, whom you see in Cloud Ruins later in the game, but Manfred the Dragon is his full name. So just keeping, just making sure you all know that little bit of lore. Argus Strats curses the run. It's not worth it. I mean, maybe. It's true, because even Narga doesn't apply them, right? Narga just does picnic panic runs right before having to do 8-bit runs. And that's where the buff comes from. Neither one of these ones are, are picnic panic buffers. So looks like we're we're at least clear and on even ground here as we are immediately synced. Going into Autumn Hills. Here we go again. That first deadly Kappa. First two, that first turtle. Destroyer of all dreams and hopes. Both getting a nice pat on the back saying, good job, my friend. You'll make it to Ninja Village someday as they just continue on their way. Mark having a little bit of cleaner dealing with these these stone blocks here. The uh, I like the, the the swing here. He basically does kind of the the T boosting maneuver, which can help like do that. Ooh, both doing a front boost there, very clean. Narc having to go to the wall, Minfin having to go to the wall, but we're nice and even here. Both got their forty, no problems. I forgot to get a count on shards. I believe I did see one on at least one side, but neither one of them in a detriment. We're able to get their shard count for the first shop, easy peasy. We're going to be on our way here. So now we got little dropping spike things. Those things are annoying. They come out at the worst times. They are very cyclic, but they just happen to, if you just get out of tune just a little bit, get you in trouble. Let's see what happens with our spikes here. Mr. Space Narc, the Alpha Plant Enjoyer, about to do his Alpha Plant jump. Boom, there it is. Boom, easily gets the right. But who needs an Alpha Plant when you're consistent? Oh, but Mr. Lifeguard here. Not the official lifeguard, but the secondary one, the vice lifeguard, trying to kick Min back into those spikes. You fortunately just bought an ability to avoid that from being a thing. Well, not really, just was able to recover it, thankfully. He actually went back in there, was like, no, get out. So Narc's going to get just a slight advantage again, kind of like a repeat of what we saw in the last race. They're both close, half a room apart, maybe, not even. Well, it's going to come down to Spike Tower again. Narc missing it last run, going for his typical hug strat. The first time I've seen him employ it in this uh, in this tournament, though. So he's feeling pretty confident about the strat. We'll see if he decides to change that. We're both going to go through a saw blade boost here. Um, lifeguard on Narc's side. Let's him pass. No problem. No kitty back in the pool. Same thing on Min. Very clear. Narc reverting back to the, the standard one. Easily getting his Spike Tower and Min Fin as well. So still on equal footing. Narc ditching the hug strat for the more traditional one. Definitely paid off this particular go around. Minfin opting to avoid that uh, save pad there. I wonder if that actually saves you some time. It might. Again, I'm wondering if every save pad actually cost you a frame. It was possible that he's just, you know, a little bit here and there. Dipping down, getting some extra shards. Don't blame. Better to have more than not enough. 
discounts are looking very solid for both those so shouldn't have any concerns about meeting the quota of 130 by the end of the stage good swing room there and stump jump coming good stump jump on both sides swing room causing no problems whatsoever for either runner one and one for shards okay so we were very even Narc struggling there a little bit with one of the turtle boosts. Did get pulled into the Kappa itself. Took a slight knockback. Anything Bajor takes the, the grub damage. So the little boost kind of like makes up for that little mistake there. But again, just very clean. Both of them. Autumn Hills presenting no problems whatsoever for either runner. We're going to get ready to do our next shop here and go into our first boss. Very standard rooms for both. Very clean. Let's see how the shop goes. Pretty clean for Narc. Clean for Min. Narc will be the first one to enter into the Leaf Golem fight with Minfin hot. And I mean hot on his heels. All right, just keep your focus. Get your slashes in. Get your shurikens in whenever available. Get in closer if you want, just to save yourself a little time. Easy one cycle coming from Narc. Infin's looking solid here too. Easy peasy. Not today, Mr. Leaf Golem. You will not be rude to either of our runners. They're both too good for you. All right, Forlorn Temple. Hardest stage to save time in. Let's see if Narc opts to... Oh, Narc gonna save the frame this time. Let's go. He's learned. No advantage to Minfin. Both of them clean through Forlorn. We're going to see our good buddy Necro. Necro buddy, how you doing? Cheers, mate. Oh, and Narc not stepping on Necro this time. I think he was like, he, he knew that death was the, the curse. Death was the curse of Necro for being stepped on. Really good, clean first room coming from Narc there. Should easily be able to make this Crusher cycle perfectly. Hardly any weight whatsoever. Good stuff, good clean. Same for Minfin. It's a clean drop in there. We got our first gauntlet room. Everyone say hi to Mr. Ruxton. Just like it when people say hi. All right, Narc's going to go in for his butt boost. To the right. Exactly why you reset the game. Let's do the Crusher cycle, no problem. Minfin also must have reset during the, the break screen. Ooh, that one was a little close. Oh, man. Minfin just squeezing through there. The ninja retains his shoes somehow. <laughs> but, whew. But neither one of them failing in the butt boost there gets their little bit of time saves by getting through that cycle, no problem. We'll be moving on here. Narc's just got a slight advantage. We were synced here last time. So Narc's just holding on at lead. Good clean ascension there. We'll be able to use those platforms to get just a little bit of speed boost. We're gonna go into Cutie Crusher and see what happens here. And no Cutie Crusher from either last race. Looks like Narc is still not going for it either. Kind of a scary scratch. Not many people are going for it in the run, so don't blame them. A death there, not necessarily the worst thing, but any death in Catacombs does cause problems down the road, so really want to avoid that from both runners' side. I respect them for not going for more of the riskier strats where that could be a potential problem. Good clean left-hand side climb there by Narc, able to beat the fireball cycle. Then Finn being a little bit more traditional, sticking onto the right-hand side there, but still very well done. Donkadonk was a tail of two tails here, so we'll see how Narc goes. Narc, another Badonk, two for two and oh tonight on these ones, so able to get his Badonk nice and cleanly too. That was a very solid one. Then Finn, oh, unfortunately bonking yet again. We'll now have to deal with the gauntlet. Mark's going to get that additional advantage right now. Blazing through catacombs. Driving his way home to see our good friend Ruxton. Who also was playing rather dirty last round. We'll see if maybe he wants to be a little bit more nicer as we go up the monster baiter. Looked like Minfin handled that gauntlet just a little bit cleaner than last time. So at least wasn't able to get hung up extra for him you know, being the... Getting the additional punish for missing that. Start getting a nice clean cycle skip there. Coming around the corner and going into him. Good Monster Vader there by Minfin. Very clean. 
Other than the badonkadonk thing, which is the tail of the tape here so far, we'll see if Min goes for... Oh, he did. Went for balls of steel, but there was a little bit of a hitch there on that first kick. Eats the spike ball. That's going to be costly. Shard count isn't so deadly here, but the time loss is, and that's painful. And Nark getting another, another high Ruxton as well. Nark also getting the top platform kill, so extremely good Ruxton. Goodness, Minfin now going to be like fighting for his tournament life, at least in the winner's bracket. Actually, we, I don't think this is winner's bracket. I believe this is loser's bracket. This could be his tournament life in general. Let's see here shortly as I uh, pull up everything on that front. One thing I forgot to do there. Now respecting the cycle, totally understandable and respect on that particular end. And now this is loser bracket. So Minfin is actually fighting for his tournament life right now. We got Space Nart going in, going, I like Elmer's glue. Elmer's glue is good for you. I like to eat Elmer's glue, and Elmer's glue is sticky, too. If you eat your glue, you better be careful, too, because if it's with your hands, then everything will stick to you. Ah, oh, there we go. Let's go. Space Nart getting the alternate lyrics from me. I hear that there is also turkey meat in the play, and there's pizza pie. So everyone's starting to get their own lyrics going for this game. Elmer's Lou, I hate to say, unfortunately, is my doing, and that's my bad. <laughs> uh, another low Ruxton for for Minfin, who... Oh, God, be careful, man. It's a lot of damage just to get up there. This is still not going to be a very clean kill. Whew. All right, well, Minfin getting past Ruxton, who actually put up a really good fight. That's super scary. We got Nark in the deadliest room, the tree room, wanting to take the tree, but unfortunately... He's got to be careful, man. That 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 Kappa is a sniper. Very respectful. Took it slow just to ensure that did not die. Nark getting past the deadliest room of the tournament. But struggling <laughs> for sure. We'll see how BC11 treats him. Very clean N2 last time from Mr. Space Nark. Not able to get the one tile. Is going to go ahead and just opt right out and do the backup strat here. A little bit of time on the elevator, but enough to get the projectiles. So, Nark not willing to just set up and maybe try again there. Steel Harp knocking him around a little bit as well, but able to get through. And we've got Mr. Minfin now starting his trek through the vacation land that is Bamboo Creek. We'll see how these rooms treat him. Because Nark's just uh, still blazing. And got a decent looking shard count, so shouldn't have any problems meeting quota here. We're gonna see how impactful that death that um, Minfin took in Catacombs will be too. It's kind of the one thing you gotta worry about deaths early in this game is will it impact your shard count for your next shop? You need 275 gems to be able to purchase not just poor man's wingsuit, but also the water boost. And obviously in that particular scenario, your better bet would be to skip out on the water boost, but I don't think you can do so because the uh, skill tree requires you to buy the previous before you can get the next one. Oh, he's kind of stuck there. We'll see. All right, we got BC11 coming up here on Mr. Minfin's side. The deadly tree room did not kill. Okay, got to set up. Oh, just couldn't get the one tile either, unfortunately. So we're going to have a little bit of elevator time here too. Good backup though. Really good, clean, you know, a grab of that, that projectile up in the air. Didn't have to like worry about going back down. We get knocked around a little bit on Steelheart as well, but making it through, we're clean. And his shard count is still a little scary. We'll see. Nark is starting his trick through Howling Grotto. Good, decent looking drop from what I saw there. He going there, getting set up, getting ready to go in on his, on his uh, EK skip. Yeah, you're a little short men, but it's not terrible. This is recoverable. Doesn't need to dip down underneath that safe pad for the giant shard. Just basically, is you're opting for some... Oh. Okay. I think I see what Minfin's plan here, but he's hoping that the bats will be a little bit of a bro. Want to be at 251 by the end of that waterfall. He is at 248, so we're about three shy. This will be scary. Keep a close eye on Minfin's shard count here. Definitely going to get nine from the, the lanterns, but the bats. Zero. Zero. And is there enough arc... To get three. Just enough. Woo. Okay. 
That's Min Finn being the professional, the, the 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 veteran, knowing what he can get away with. He was probably hoping for some bat help, but knew that he would be able to get those three and make his quota. So well done. Well done, Min Finn. You scared me, but I think you were cool, calm, and collected. Unfortunately, I missed if Nark got his DK. Looked like it was clean enough. Maybe I was wrong about that, but... Definitely got at least the, the standard yeet. Nothing, no god yeet strats, I think, from either of these runners. See how the fall goes for men. One minor suit adjustment. Don't blame. Nice and safe and clean. All right. Got uh, a couple more rooms left for Narc here. Been making some progress as um, Minfin will be just starting his run basically through here. Here. Oh, a little issue in in Wizard Room there by Narc. No, just a smidge. Not anything detrimental, but I'm sure that broke a hay skip for sure. Good boost there. Easy DK skip coming from Minfin. Well done, Clinic. Missing the health refill there, but that shouldn't be a problem. As long as you don't touch a spike, that is. Narc is going to be doing his counting to seven. Taking another damage here. Be careful. This is really sketchy. Got to watch out for this jerk rock tosser here. Okay. Oh, I like the bait out there with the drop and then Cloud Step jumping over him. That was really well played by Minfin. Just to make sure that that guy didn't toss his rock to the left. That could have been deadly. That could have been extremely deadly on Minfin's side, but he plant he handled it well. We got Narc here, easily counting to seven, missing his shuriken toss and letting this guy get away. This is scary. One HP... This thing is erratic too. Like there's no rhyme or reason to his movement. Oh, goodness. Okay. I might've clenched just a smidge there. Narc, if you're out there, I, I, I definitely sense you. You're fine. Just keep breathing, man. You're good. <laughs> oh my God. That was scary. Woo Wisp was not happy about his golem being broken. That's for sure. That'll cost some time too. That's a little slower as fights go. Fortunately, didn't take the death, which would be the worst case scenario. <laughs> Everybody grab your towels, wipe the sweat away, because holy cow, was that just... Oof. I'd have some nightmares about that. All right. Mark's going to be starting his trek through Quill Shroom, avoiding the peanut butter. No peanut butter boosting here. Maybe a, a tea booster too, but no peanut butter. You know, for a good repeat performance of Quillstroom from the last run. Went very clean uh, on all regards. Even got whipless. Both runners basically getting whipless. No problem here throughout that one. So they're hoping for at least a good repeat of Quillstroom on both ends here. See how Minfin's uh, fight with the, uh, the Emerald Golem goes here. Make up a little bit of time with a cleaner second phase. So that's what we'll hope for. Make things just a little bit closer as Narc's going to be finishing up their right room. Very clean. Modest Kappa slabbing. Like the spike ball's in a good, safe position for him. Yeah, he knows what he's doing with that. No problem. Ooh, good low kill by Minfin. Not only being able to actually close time by killing quicker, but also getting off screen. That's the optimal one. And on that side of the screen, even saves more time. Let's go, Minfin. Good, clean Emerald Golem. Takes a little sip of coffee to, to congratulate himself on that one and keeps going. Narc's just been kind of getting knocked around a little bit. I mean, HP is still in a good spot. This room has a refill in it, so shouldn't be too dangerous. But again, just, you know, again, minor movement things that if Minfin can keep clean, can start making up just that little bit more ground. I know he's got a lot of work ahead of him after that death, but... Uh, it's been very clean since then, and things are looking to be going his way at the moment. See how grass cutter strats go for Narc, going nice and high. Only had the one shuriken, though. Ends up losing time here a little bit, having to go up there and slap that door open. Must have accidentally thrown it somewhere pre previous, didn't notice that that happened. You're getting bullied by these mushrooms, they gang up on you a lot. Opting to pick up that health there, that last top mushroom, hiding one of those. Good call. Especially going into bully room. 
as you're guaranteed to take most likely two points of damage you can get through there with one but you got to have extremely good and clean movement like right room is going super solid for mr minfin here he's going to be getting through there no problem again opting out on that second save pad who needs it just don't die forehead and you're fine there we go good start to this room here this one is a scary room taking the bonk there is going to wisely just hold off at that you get into muscle memory and that could easily take you into those spikes narc being very aware that he had bonked there and couldn't necessarily get through the way he wanted to wisely decided to wait the cycle out let that thing get out of the way and then move on through safely make it to the queen of quills with all you, you know no no death saving yourself a little bit of time obviously but we'll see how the fight goes here it starts so far and keep the damage boost there this damage miss wasn't that big a deal knocks her up there good right right pattern coming from narc we'll see if he makes sure the damage gets there nice and clean even saves the shuriken for the snipe good kill by narc clean whipless gets on the right hand side of the room that's what you want to see right there that's ideal Mark can also count to 19. Little did everyone know. Not only 7, but also 19. Let's see how Bully Room goes here for Mr. Minfin. Trying to get that set up for the one damage. Unfortunately, just got a little high there. Yeah, 19 is a high number for sure. A very clean looking quill shroom coming out of out of uh, Mr. Minfin here. So we'll see how this room goes here. It's a chance to make up just a little bit of ground there as Narc had to take this a little bit more conservatively. It's very clean. Oh no. Couldn't get the cloud step off the mushroom. Had to basically wait, but at least he didn't die for it, and that's the important thing. Still deathless. Oh uh, not not for men, unfortunately. Still deathless for Narc, but still good clean here. We'll probably lose a little bit of time. We'll make sure his queen of quills here goes. Nice and smooth and whipless as well. Narc starts rope darting everything. Literally everything in sight. Get a right hand start coming from Minfin. Gets in there, gets that damage, doesn't take the knockback. Ooh, that's going to be a loss of DPS, but he does do this strat. So going up with her allows him to kind of make up that gap of any lost DPS. He did throw an additional shurik in there to make sure. Kept one for the snipe. Good job by Minfin. Good clean quills by both like to see it you like to see it all right narc not letting this room get him this second time very clean gets up there gets nice and set rope darts over very clean room there good ascension saves the the, the shortcut and hangs up just a smidge there and that's easy to do that long distance rope dart is deceptive you think it's longer than it really is <laughs> so then you wait too long and then of course you don't really get much out of it it's kind of a shame but we'll see how the teleport setup goes here Hansan to get out for that pit and set up good good teleport by narc we'll be setting up for the standard left hand side a little slow on the ascension there but clean otherwise we've got minfin also with his rope dark gonna start zooming through we got the vast majority of the stage between the two Waited just a little long on that platform, bonked a little bit. Now he's gonna walk into the spikes. This gets a little scary. Please be careful, Mister. There you go. He's not gonna opt to get the uh, the health. That's a super scary thing he just did there, taking that side. I mean, obviously he's gonna be feeling behind. He knows he took that death. We saw a rock there from the Susus. We get a tag out. Good damage though, but not enough to kill. Like we're gonna go into a people's elbow on Narc's side. So we've got two team attacks and a boulder. Or at least a team attack and a boulder, I should say. He's gonna stay in there and get that damage though on Callus. Not a bad call by Narc there. That people's elbow is annoying. It does eat a lot of time. Ooh, good kill, actually. I might have missed a phase there somewhere, but uh maybe he didn't open with that boulder. But it looked like a good kill overall. Up through, no problem. We'll be having our shovel please coming up shortly for Mr. Space Narc. As he makes his final ascension towards the Tower of Time. Get your shovel, please, in chat for Mr. Space Narc. Do, 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 do. Let's see how the teleport in Crags goes for Mr. Minfin. Narc starts his ascension. He's going to be flying through this stage. Just keep an eye on him. Don't blink, you'll miss it. Ah, unfortunate. Again, just didn't quite get the rope dart out on Minfin's side. 
going in for his right hand side. I do love that setup. I'm gonna need to learn that. That's very impressive. Very clean right hand side there by Mr. Minfin. He's shaking his head though. He's not liking his crags. He's not liking this race. Narc's blazing. He's setting these. He's setting this glacier peak on fire. Look at this guy. I call the speed police, but I don't think they have the ability to catch him with how fast he's going. Let's go, Narc. Get a nice little towel whip coming there from Susis. Team attack into a spin ball. It's so hard to stick with him all the way. Lost him there at the top of the screen. Yeah, Minfin showing his disappointment with that particular one, but goes up with him, was able to at least kill him. But we're going to get another team attack. This is scary. Going into a people's elbow with the amount of HP. Oh, God, he's at one. Yeah, take that very conservative, my friend. You do not want to die here, obviously, because it starts the entire fight over again. Okay, survives it. Minfin, though, showing his displeasure with that particular fight and how it went. Don't blame him. But he lives. He lives to fight on. There's still about, I'd say about two-thirds of a stage difference between the two. Ark's going to be setting up for his next teleport here at, towards the end of Glacial Peak. Good teleport coming from Nark there at that particular juncture. You have the final climb screen here. Keeping it clean, keeping it nice and smooth, easily getting up there. Onto his 40 second cutscene, and we get another shovel please in for Mr. Minfin as he starts his Glacial Peak Ascension. Good clean start there, rope darting everything that he needs to. Keeping the feet off the ground so that the ice physics don't have their say. And rope darting everything, the most important strat. A little low on that one, but fortunately there's more than just one lantern there. Saves you from taking a nice fall into that death pit that's down below. Good clean right hand side coming up there from Minfin. Good job cleaning that room up very nicely. Missing the rope dart on the blue kappa. That happens very easily. That's a very small window, believe it or not. Very deceptively difficult trick. Good climbs here. We got Narc starting his Tower of Time. One, he's probably wanting a little revenge on that Hail Mary from the last one. We'll see how this goes. Missing the crystal abuse there. I had to kind of go around. Not that that's a big deal, but obviously it adds up. Narc's going to take the save point. Not a bad call here. Gets his damage boost, gets through, makes it, and just narrowly avoids the Wizro's projectile. Wizro wanted to play a little bit of a troll. Fortunately, just did leave enough room. We got a Hail Mary coming from Narc. It's a good start to the tower. You like to see it. Let's see, minus dart strat works out well. Looks like good neutral dart. Yep, all the way through, no problem. Two HP for this room. Doesn't have to worry about getting sniped. Good teleport there on Minfin's side as well, cleaning up their final stage, going on up through Glacial to get their rendezvous with the Tower of Time. Good levy special coming over there from Narc. Getting up those platforms, no problem whatsoever. We'll see how Puni Cycle Room goes. Very clean so far. Good rope darting, got through. Good levy cycle, or Puni Cycle. <laughs> two strats by two different runners in back-to-back <laughs> -back rooms. I apologize for messing that up. That is my fault. All right, no laser shenanigans here. We are at three health, so we'll be taking it nice and slow as Narc's gonna pick his teeth in the spikes there just make sure he gets that that, that spinach out <laughs> oh, that rope dart man you hate to see it get to a corner and the ninja just gets stuck his knee just jams into the corner the rope dart sticks out above the ledge and you're just like oh, i can't move all right let's see how minfin's Hail Mary goes. Good crystal abuse there. Slapping it early. Throws the shuriken late, but that's not a big deal. Let's see if he opts for that. All right. Also taking the save room. Very safe pad. Very wisely. Oh, gets a knockback for that laser. That's just going to kill Hail Mary right up front. We're going to go for a nice, nice conservative, very slow, very safe first room. Don't blame him. Respect because that can happen. 
Nark getting set up here for his laser boost. Going to be the one HP strat through. Let's see if this goes cleanly. It does. Handles it well. The Wizrobe's playing nice for once. Allowing him to pass. No Gandalfs today. We go into Time Waster Room. Make sure he gets his Crystal Abuse here without a problem. Then there's only one obstacle between him and Victory Lane. Ooh, okay, yeah, that's right. Narc does opt for the Rope Dart Strat there. Way more consistent. He got tired of wasting time in that room. Decided to go with that particular one. It's moderate, minorly slow, but you know what? It's consistent, and consistency is good. See if Narc opts to do any laser skipping here. Nope, he's going to go ahead and just take it nice and simple. Nice and easy. We'll cart right across the lasers here. Meets up with the three sages and about to do the thing and take this matchup 2-0 and dash Minfin's hopes and dreams of revenge. Get your hands ready to clap. A little pachi pachi time. Nark getting right in the face, using those shurikens right away. He's not even messing around with this arcane golem. He's just like, I want this over with, and I want it over with now. Really good, keeping in there too. Like timing his his rope darting perfectly to stay stuck to the head, keeps it from knocking him away. Good clean run by Nark. Thirty fifty. Is that a PB? That's a PB, right? That's gotta be. Wasn't he like a low thirty one? That's a huge PB by Nark if it is. Holy cow. One second PB. Okay. It is a PB. I, I didn't realize he got into 31, but nice. Well done by Narc. Super clean run. Well, well done. I guess, you know, a couple of minor things there, but a couple of rooms you'd like to have back. But hey, PB is a PB. Erase PB, even more respect. So let's go. We'll keep an eye on Minfin. See how he ends here. He's going to get his laser boost on, finish off his Tower of Time. Good clean Lizro Groom there. No worries about the projectiles. He'll be going into Time Waster shortly. Again, GG's to Mr. Space Nark, who will be taking this series 2-0 and moving on in the brackets, in the lower brackets. Let's see who his potential next opponent will be while we wait for Mr. Minfin to do his final Laser Room Ascension. So, Mr. Space Nark taking this 2-0. We'll be waiting. He's waiting for the result of the That DJ1, our very own Iris, versus Yanglestorm. Mr. Oh dear, Yanglaka himself. That'll be an exciting race, too. So, keep an eye out for that one. That's going to be those two very evenly matched runners as well, just like tonight's was. Um, Nark will be facing off the winner of that particular match, which I actually believe is scheduled, too. Oh, I'm thinking about it. Uh, that race has yet to be scheduled, actually. Never mind. I apologize. All right. Good laser skip I saw there from Mr. Minfin. He goes into his final fight with the Arcane Golem. Full health. No concerns. Just want to stay up there. Make sure you don't fall off. He's doing a decent job keeping that rope dart in play so that he doesn't get knocked away either. Good kill by Mr. Minfin. 